Hey, this is Alexei from Myself Studios, and we're making the cheese tutorial in MoGraph today. Now, it's going to be a MoGraph plus volume build tutorial where we're going to be using it to make this kind of randomly generated cheese and eating away pieces from it. It'll be initially modeled with polygon modeling, and then I'll be using cloner and a push apart effector and other stuff to get the cheese model. And I'll also be going over a bit of redshift materials and lighting towards the end. Need rigs. Ace 5 Studios has rigs. Cheese tutorial. You're going to need to start off with a cube. You're going to want to make it editable. You're going to select these two edges and use a scale tool to bring it together so it's like a piece of cheese. And go back into object mode. Get the right proportions. Okay, looks pretty good. I want to add a curve there. So let's add a loop cut. Move this curve out. And let's go into a subdivision object. It doesn't look like cheese yet. So again, loop, KL, up here, up here. If you don't want to get rid of this sharp edge, um, this might be bigger. There you go. Then maybe a loop cut here and here. And we have the beginnings of a piece of cheese. Uh, now you want holes in it, right? So you know what? I think we need also two loops here. Let's turn on symmetry. Um, edge mode. Yep, that's the wrong symmetry. So let's switch it to... Nope, there you go. Let's add a loop cut here and move this edge out a bit so that it looks more like a circle. There you go. Awesome. And you might want to delete this edge loop, so dissolve. And then go loop cut and bring it up again. There you go. Seems nicer. Now, how to make holes in it. Um, we get a sphere. And we put it into a MyGraph cloner. We hold the Alt key while clicking it. And the cloner, we select object mode. And in the object mode, we... I hear we drag in our little subdivision surface. Make the spheres a bit smaller. And now you want to switch it from surface to, I mean, if you, you can have it a surface, but then it'll only have the spheres on the surface. Like this guy has added a display tag. And if you tick use and lines here, you'll have a cage. And you can see that all the spheres are on the surface. Let's make them smaller. And we can increase the amount of them so we can see that they're not inside, they're on the surface. But what we want is we want these spheres to be inside as well. So let's switch this from surface to volume. And now they're inside the cube as well. And now we can make the spheres bigger. And some of them are intersecting. And that's okay. That's not a huge issue because cheese will be kind of like that sometimes. Let's see where we are right now. If we use what we have now, we will put it into a volume builder. Just drag both these guys in there. You'll see the volume builder will mix them together. Let's set this to maybe like four. You can kind of see the details, make it two. There you go. Now, so the cloner shouldn't be union, it should be subtract. And ta-da, we have cheese pieces. Now, we're gonna to wanna to make these spheres random. So select the cloner and go into your effectors here and select random. And we don't want the position, we want the scale. And we want it to be uniform. If we turn off this for a second. And we drag this up. You'll see each sphere is a different size. And we turn the volume builder back on. Now, we don't really like the way they're right now. So let's go to cloner and object. And let's just change the seed here so the randomly distribution will be. There you go. This looks a bit better. Now you also want to maybe push these apart a bit. Maybe they're too close to each other. Or maybe there's maybe there's, not, maybe there's too many of them. Let's try less spheres. Let's make them bigger. Okay, there you go. And maybe let's go through a different couple of different seeds. See which ones look better. You can also manually place these spheres and subtract them. It's always an option. And lastly, we can use the push apart effector. So we turn off our volume builder for a second. 
make sure cloner is selected. We have a push apart effector, which pushes them all apart. That's too far. We want this radius to be like five or maybe. See, and then it'll push them apart so they're not intersecting as much. Maybe we can have a bit less of them now. That looks pretty looks a bit floaty there. <laughs> okay. All right, let's make this sphere a bit bigger. And we can also, actually in the push apart, we can also scale apart if we want. We don't have to have a push apart, we can scale apart. And that'll just shrink the ones that are intersecting. This guy's bigger. A bit too much there. Um, That looks a pretty solid cheese there. Let's go full piece. So this volume builder, let's put it into a volume mesher. And there we go. And we might want to make this sphere. See how we get these little boxes here? It's because this sphere doesn't have a segment. So let's max them out. There you go. And we might want to reduce this size to one so that we get a bit nicer. And let's add a smooth deformer here. There you go. And let's smooth. We'll smooth it all out. It's a bit of a floating piece there, but it is what it is. And we have a block of cheese. Honestly, I still don't like it. Let's go through a couple of other options. We need less of these. Maybe we just need them to be smaller. Though. Let's increase the amount of them. I think when I select the sphere here, I can make them smaller or bigger. Looks pretty decent. Scroll through a couple more versions. There you go. That looks like a sufficiently <laughs> cheese full of holes. And then all we need is a bit of a render. So let's give us a floor and let's get a light. And move this guy here and maybe a bit up. And we will create a standard redshift material. So in materials, click the plus button. And here you basically want to, like obviously you can just make the color yellow and that might be enough for what you're doing. Apply that to our volume measure. But I believe we might want to have some subsurface scattering there. So a little piece of cheese, let's zoom in here. But I believe we want to get this yellow material here and we want to go to transmission and increase this weight. No, not transmission, subsurface and increase the weight. There you go. And then just change the color to yellow. Now, as you can see, it's lighting up a bit more here. If you go at zero, it's a bit dark, but here you can see that it's illuminating through. And in a scale. So 20. There you go. See, if you max it out too much, you go see through. So we don't want that. We want it to be like 15, maybe. No, eight, four. Yeah, I think that's about. It's about where we want it. And you can wait, or you can go to render settings, redshift, and turn on denoising. And then it'll denoise as it renders. This thing can toggle it on and off. But as it goes here, it'll get less and less blurry, and you have cheese. You don't look from the side, don't look from the side. That's where the angle is, the right angle. And remember, if you need any more characters, we have a bunch of stuff on ace5studios.com. All these characters are animation ready, rigged, have materials, are fully customizable, and you can use them in your own commercial projects. We also have more stuff here, like some free rigs you can try out. We have character building kits. We have packs of simpler characters for infographics and infomercials and whatever it is you're making as kids. 
There's also some animals there, so go check it out. Won't be sorry.